Hello everybody and welcome back to Coral Island where today we are off well to say hello to Amanda the cow and oh we don't quite have enough for our second cow yet so let's go in there uh, oh, oh open open gate open gate there we are go see how she's doing Hello, so, so none of the fodder got eaten, which is wonderful because we let her outside for the day because it was sunny and lovely and Amanda's one day old and feeling happy but still no, no hearts quite yet. Okay, that is fine. Don't know how many days old cows have to be to become a cow, but never mind. Uh, so I think we will let her out for the day. It feels so much more like a farm when you've got a cow, right? Absolutely. Can't wait for all the other animals that I can keep in the barn as well. The other thing I was thinking is like, um, obviously where I've got the barn there. I could maybe even... Munch, munch, munch. Uh, I could even maybe have like another barn over here, for example. And then I could even extend out for a third barn as well. I'm thinking that might be quite cool. So I don't know whether that's going to use up like all of the grass, or whether the grass grows fast enough to keep up with the cow. That's another thing that I'll have to have to experiment with, I think. Lots of nice bell peppers. So I'm thinking today I might. Yeah, my inventory's all full. No. I've got loads of stuff, haven't I? Uh, again, I'll sell all the starred stuff. And keep all the non starred stuff. Also, I've, for some reason, I've gone out of running mode as well. So let's go back into that. And I've got loads of tree seeds and random gubbins so that's uh, seaweed needs to go in there along with the kelp tools are miscellaneous uh, I need to put the coffer in the jammu juice oh, I don't know am I keeping that I'm kind of keeping that with me aren't I I, I can't think I, that was the decision I made last time oh, compost needs to go in farming and then all the tree seeds, hay, coal, scrap, stone, fiber. I'll go in there. Spare bits of wooden. Oh, spare bits of wooden fence should go in miscellaneous, really, I would say. The jammu, I think, should go up there. And trash in there. And sap in there. And then we've got a lovely empty inventory to start the day with. Oh yeah, so I was going to do those big scarecrows today and see how how big an area they covered. There's quite a few things I want to do. <laughs> like Definitely like working towards eggs and milk is a, a really huge thing. I'm just working up. Working up towards, I think, the... the I'm sure it's got to be soon, right, that I'll unlock the bigger sprinklers that I've been promised. <laughs> oh no, the water ran out. And like I say, I'm just a little bit apprehensive about um, doing too much like work on the flooring and things around the, the farm until I've got a bit more the size of plots that I think I'm gonna just kind of keep forever, you know? So yeah, it's kind of seeing if if they if they show up those bigger sprinklers, then I will make them. I will buy. You know, I'll use my my hard earned money to buy the kelp needed to keep those bigger things watered, and then I'll put loads of loads of loads of loads of different things in them, and uh, we'll have a huge farm, and it's going to be awesome. Feel like I want to sort of. 
just keep things back away from my crops a bit. Um, and slowly push things backwards. I don't know whether I want any of this grass to be here. I'm not sure. So I'm just trying to sort of work out where I'm going to want things and stuff. I definitely kind of want, I th feel like I want to clear away. I don't want to clear away the trees. But I feel like I kind of want to clear away all the other bits, the little rocks and and things around here. Well, maybe I could put flooring down, I don't know. I haven't decided yet. Just feeling like a little bit of a continued clear out of this place would be kind of cool. I'm going to leave the grass here because, I, like I say, I still might extend the, the pasture a little bit more. Like, right up to the end. Because otherwise, what else am I going to put here, you know? I may put chickens out to this side. Or I may put them somewhere else. Have Again, haven't decided yet. <laughs> but I don't... I also don't want to do too much around here because if I do too much... Then I'll run out of stamina for anything else like going diving or trying to get myself down to the bottom of the mines. Although I tend to prefer trying to get to the bottom of the mines. If I'm going to do that task, I prefer to keep myself a full inventory. Uh, sorry, a full uh, stamina bar. A full stamina inventory. But you know what I mean, because you, you need it to get even five levels down, especially in that new mine shaft that I've opened up. This just helps me helps me get around as well because at the moment this path is very clogged gosh there's a lot of stones down here just starts to give me more of an idea like I can survey the place I can sort of start to see and actually having the bigger backpack and being able to have all the tools actually is very helpful for this as well it just allows me to see what I want to do where I want to clear things like I obviously I want to get all the trash off my farm as well got myself another coffer from cleaning that up as well cool And there's just so much stuff in between all the trees. I don't mind the trees being there, to be honest. Uh, I'll probably eventually try and replace them with fruit trees, I guess. I figure just let's get all the trash up. I don't want any trash on my farm. If this is what I have to spend a day doing, this is what I'll do. walk around the place this is getting a lot better actually already yeah, let's get some of these logs up wasn't really what I planned to do today but I just did the, the, the sort of spirit of cleaning overtook me I think So I don't think I'll be able to do that one. But a lot of these small ones I can just get gone. And then that's going to help me a bit more with like layout and everything. And might be quite nice. I could maybe go and take a bath as well and, and get some more done later. Or go in the bath and then get some diving done with the rest of the day. That is a thing I could do. Yeah, how nice is it going to be to have a farm that I can actually walk around? Hmm. 
So also, this will help me with uh, the materials that I need for my chicken coop. Which I'm sure I'm going to have to do soon. Well, I am, because it's wanting eggs and... Oh no, I'm feeling very tired now. Oops. Mm, okay. I'm really tired now. Woohoo! So let's go and see if there's a fast travel to anywhere close to the the spa. Not really. So I think I'm just going to run there. I don't think any of those fast travel points are particularly closer. Um, oh man, I forgot where it is. Where's the, where's the spa now? Oh, it's up there. Well, maybe, maybe some of them, them are. I, I don't know. Maybe there are some places that are closer. That beetle looked like a beetle I've not seen before. Oh, no, I'm in the observatory. No, that's not where I want to be. No, 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 no. Round the corner, though, from the observatory. Taking me half the night to get to the bath. This is what I say about the bathhouse. I need a fast travel point by it so that... Uh, It takes so long to generate your stamina. It is nice that you get a panda playing a flute for you, though. That's particularly cool. But I really would like to like get um, my house upgraded and get a kitchen and all that sort of thing. But, uh, what's the time? It's half past seven. I think if I just stay in here till about eight o'clock, that'll still give me time to do a few things. And yes, it might even be just just cleaning up my yard. Because, you know, we've gotten all the way through to halfway through summer and I still haven't actually finished doing that yet. Yeah, maybe we could stay till half past eight. That would give me a lot more stamina. Don't know. The panda's going to bed. So maybe that's my, my cue. I don't know. <laughs> Okay, I've got half, half stamina back. I think that'll do for just a little bit of extra work. And then we'll go to bed. And then tomorrow maybe try and see if we can finish off the diving and stuff like that. But at the moment, it's all about the, the eggs and the milk. So I've just got to try and make myself money from whatever means necessary, really. didn't see it quick enough. Oh, goodness me. How am I, like, in the middle of the forest? Ah. <laughs> I already have one of you. They need you. It's all the ones that fly away quickly that I probably don't have, because, uh... Yeah, I, I clearly need, like, a better bug net or level 2 catching abilities so I can... Grab those, like, rare ones. Right, it's half past nine. But i still got some stamina to use. So let's just spend it... Chopping up the, uh... Stuff that may be in my way around here. I think those tree... I'm gonna be honest, I think those trees are too densely packed. I'm going to chop some of them down. I can't see where I'm going or what I'm doing. All those trees around. Mm, I'll keep, keep the big trees, I think. Something right there, right in the middle of the grass patch. 
kind of keeping the grass because I think it might be useful in the future, but all the weeds and stuff, nah, they're gone. They're just in my way. They're just making it so I can't walk anywhere. They're really annoying. And I want them gone. So I'm not being particularly, like, I'm not particularly making any patch of uh, land available for any particular purpose or anything. I'm just sort of doing a little bit of tidying up. And then we shall see if we can get a chicken. Ah, uh, I don't know though. It's like more cows or more chickens? Or more seeds so that I can make more plants and get more stuff with that. Uh, I just don't know. It's getting late. Oh, it's midnight already. Okay, probably time to go to bed then. I wasn't too badly mistimed. Uh, I think my place is starting to look quite nice. I would love to do a bit more with my house as well, but again, that just takes so much money, so I'm just going to have to make do with what I've got. Um, but once I can get a bit more silver together, I'm going to have enough to upgrade the house, even though I haven't decorated any of it yet. But maybe that will be the point where I get a kitchen or something. Hoping. Here is hoping. How to be a farmer with Jeff Smith. So what's your tip then, Jeff? Fall is almost here. You got everything ready yet? Well, new season, new crops, I always say, and all kinds of new things are growing in the wild. My wife and I used to take Gary to the forest as soon as fall arrived. The youngest addition, Robert, we call him Bob, is more of an indoor type. He takes care of the animals and whatnot. I think he gets it from his mama, who's a nurse. Anyway, come fall the first. We go out for the day looking for black trumpets, matsutakis, that, uh, those kinds of things. Different mushrooms. You can just find them. Easy. Sprouts very easy. Mushrooms everywhere, I remember. There'll be a lot of mushrooms in fall. Okay, good to know. I, what I want to know about fall is figs. I want to know where there's going to be figs come fall. Whether that is a fig tree or a fig plant or figs just grow on the ground or I can just find fig trees in the forest. I don't know. I can't do trees yet, so uh, that could be interesting if it's not something that I can do yet. I think figs is autumn. It might be winter. I'm not sure. But I'd be pretty gutted if I couldn't finish the bundle because there was like a tree I couldn't grow. That would be that would be suckful. Although not entirely unexpected. Hey, beautiful, beautiful, lovely, lovely, all watered. All watered, all harvested. And let's do a bit of selling. Bit of putting away. All that clearing up, I got a few things. In geo, trash would go in there, stone, woods, fiber, scrap, coal. I think that's it. Missed a couple of these. Uh, farming sap, wild seeds, and then sea stuff, glass. Coffers around the place, haven't I? Coffers and geodes. I should maybe get those um, opened up. But for now, I'm going to put them all here. So I've got like three geodes, two coffers, and four ornate coffers. Which is very nice. Ah, okay, yeah, I need to refill the... Take the glass and the kelp. I need to refill the... Uh, Extractor. Yeah, I know. 
So apparently I have to have the kelp on the hotbar or it doesn't work. The glass on the hotbar apparently does not work. Oh, of course, because it doesn't know whether it wants bronze or silver. That would make sense. Okay, we're making five and three, so we could still do with a bit more bronze kelp. So that's maybe made my decision for me what I'm going to do with the rest of the day, which is uh, go under the sea. And I'm happy now I've got that slightly bigger backpack just to uh, not worry too much about putting things away and all that sort of thing. Although I probably shouldn't have brought the kelp essence with me. But never mind. That's only one slot. It'll do. It's fine. We're good. Alright, righty then. So I was just looking around last time. Oh yeah, I was I was down here, and um, I was I cleaned all this out, and then I I was sort of looking for other places. Oh yeah, I was looking to see if I could find uh, that staircase again, but I hadn't moved the anchor, so I was like I ended up kind of stuck here again and we started here again instead however journeying to my previous location because I've tidied it all up should mean I'll be able to pick up a few things from the seabed which would be quite nice I'll just explore everywhere and most of these things I usually sell so let's have a little look around we've got some more trash there for some reason. Whether I didn't quite manage to finish tidying this up or whether it just respawned overnight, as it sometimes does. Not quite sure. There is quite a lot of trash here actually, so maybe I didn't quite manage to get it finished. What a lovely day for a dive. Really need to upgrade that uh, tool though, don't I? There's always a use for my money though, and it's a couple of thousand to upgrade a tool, or at least a thousand, I think. And I kind of need that for other things, so it's like... Okay, well, we'll make do with this for now, and then we'll we'll come back later. Oh, this is where we need to be. Okay, cool. Oh, there's loads of these here. Nice. Mediterranean scallops, I think they are. And, like, the bigger an area I've got to look through, and the easier that's going to be. So, has the bottom of the staircase been removed? No, it has not. Okay. So what that might mean for me, unfortunately, because uh, I thought I'd get a bit further than this with the, you know, the corn turtle, but what it might mean for me is that this is as far as I'm getting until we got large milk. But I'm working on it because, you know, obviously we've got the, uh, we've got the, the calf. I'd love to save up money and get a proper cow and start really working and, and see which one is quicker really whether the cow would be faster or waiting for a calf to grow up would be faster I'm not sure however may as well just scour the seabed for as many things as I can that was that was my one thing like oh well, maybe maybe this will be a way through for me I've been told that the music puzzle isn't in yet, so uh, a little musical thing that we were doing. Don't need to worry too much about that one. I don't know if there's any kind of way in there. But 
Yeah, we've got lots of stuff. And I may as well keep this seabed nice and tidy and clean until I can, you know, do otherwise. So this is the tomato turtle that we couldn't get past. The tomato turtle opened up so much and the, the corn turtle hasn't opened up barely anything. And I'm kind of like, well, is that right? <laughs> But yeah, it doesn't hurt to do a bit of gathering down here. And probably what I will then do is concentrate more on the mines while we're waiting for the cow to grow up. Stroke money to come in for another cow. And all this stuff that I'm picking up off the ocean bed might be enough to get me a new cow, you see. So that, that could be a good thing too. I don't think I've missed a way or anything like that a way forward or anything. I don't think I've missed any of these shrines or anything along those lines either, so... I'm just figuring that... that I've got to sort of wait and be patient and uh, try and get through another way and, and unfortunately I'm a couple of coral sites short of getting the uh, getting the 20 I need, so I'll be interested in what the what the reward well not the reward but you know what happens after that. I know I'm being lazy, I'm not picking up the starfish and things, I should do. It's good for my catching skill probably. Big bunch of kelp there. That's this little area done. Yeah, kind of feeling a bit like I've explored everywhere though. I am stuck behind milk turtle. <laughs> yeah, that's everything down here. I'm just gonna go back up by the by the uh, the way you come in. I just wonder if I can catch that guy. Oh yeah, there's still some bits around here that I haven't uh, picked up. I'm keeping the salt because I'm wondering if I could use it for cooking or something eventually. But I feel like this is the first time I've really had enough stamina left to sort of properly do a good old sweep of the sea floor. Like every time up until now it's been kind of like, well, I don't really have the the stamina for it. But I think that that's a full sweep of that done for the day. So I'm thinking next day I'm going to probably uh, head down the mines so we'll just do a little bit of everything each day. A little bit of cleaning up, a little bit of clearing of the, the yard. Because that's what I could do now, actually. I could chop down a couple of trees or something just to make the yard a bit more easy to navigate. Just helps me use up the rest of my stamina, really. 
But it's a case of what can I explore, what can I do while I'm sort of waiting. Oh, my inventory's full. Okay, so I need to go and uh, sell a few of the things I picked up off the seabed, I think. So just in general, I'm getting quite a lot of stuff now. Hang on, a duck mussel. I've not seen those before, and why do I have a strong feeling? I definitely know the jackknife clams and all that sort of thing. Why do I have a feeling a duck mussel? And it won't take me two seconds to check. I can't get rid of that. Why do I get a feeling that's something that the Lake Temple Goddess wants? Have a look. No, it's a blue mussel. Okay, purple urchin, eastern oyster, calico scallop. None of those have been found yet. But I will always check if I'm not sure, because imagine if I sold something and then that was the thing that she wanted, and I was like, no! Okay. I can definitely sell those. The rest I want to keep. Wow, we're getting quite to a point where we're selling quite a lot each day. It's quite nice. Um, right, so uh, farming. Put the sack away there. Basic mats. I think the rest is sea stuff. All of that is. Oh nice, I've got loads of bronze kelp now. We've got a lot going down there, that's really cool. Let's just fill up the extractors. They do take ages. I probably should be filling up the... Uh, the compost as well. I should be constantly doing that, but I, I don't bother with it and I should. 13 of those kelp essences. We're, we're just keeping on going with that because as I get money, I'll be able to upgrade things and I think it's worth it. Uh, eventually, though, I'll need to, to change over to silver um, essence and I may need to go and check Ling's lab and make sure that I'm not sort of getting a bit ahead of myself with uh, the amount I'm making. They might be, they might be sellable, to be honest, though. All right, let's go to sleep. Go to sleep now, we can do a third day, and I can go down the mines. And get another few levels going, maybe. Oh, I got a message from someone today. Alright. First official, the campaign is closed. We reached four times our original goal. That's blowing my mind. I'm running out of words to explain how I feel. We're starting construction of the Founders Hall as soon as possible. We have an opening party and everything. I'll come get you on the day of the grand opening. Well, that's mighty nice of you, Scott. I must say. Okay, got a bit of a harvest there, so again, sell the starred stuff. And keep the non-starred stuff. I don't know why that's what I do, but it is. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go see my cow. I hope they go in at night on their own. <laughs> because I'm not putting them in. Oh, you grew up! That was so fast! Amanda's three days old, feeling happy. Right, so I'm going to need to go to the uh, ranch. I didn't expect this to happen so fast. I also have 2,799 points. Which means, considering they grow up so fast as well, I'm just going to get calves. That I can get a couple more calves, maybe, even. When do you open? Mm, Monday to Sunday, 8 o'clock, Friday. So you're not open on a Saturday. It's a Thursday, so you will be open at 9 o'clock. Wonderful. Oh, 8 o'clock, sorry. So I'll just quickly water my crops and then we'll go buy two whole new cows. 
and a milking pail. I think I have just about enough money to do that. And then once I've filled it up with cows, then we're going to look at chickens. So we'll get one more calf after that. And then I'll be looking at chickens. And then we'll maybe be looking at some more tool upgrades as well. I think particularly the scythe. Because it's used so much with the underwater stuff as well. Really, I had two more to do. Right, lovely. And so, uh, I want to put away my kelp. And we are then going to go to the mines and see how far down the mines I can get. Well, once I got the cow, yeah, and milked my cow. And I'm thinking we'll probably get like a medium or small milk or something. Large milk, I think, is going to take longer. I will double check that I can't just buy milk from here because I, I would be a bit annoyed if that was the case. So 300 for the milk pail. We need the milk pail. That's now part of my of my stuff. So um, no, we can't get milk just from the shop. And I don't think we'll be able to get it until we've shipped enough from Sam's either. Anyway, animals. I would like to buy a baby cow. And it will live in this barn. And its name will be Mona. Thank you for your support, Mona. So we have Mona and Amanda. And we are one coin short <laughs> of another one. Oh well. Maybe next time then we'll get another cow. So let's go in there. Uh... Let's go and do some milking. Yeah, definitely. And until I've got like like money just rolling in, I see no point in not just waiting the few days it seems to take for a cow to grow up at the moment. All right then, let's uh, inspect. Let's come. Can we milk? How do we milk? Left click to milk. Milk times one has been obtained. Milk pail, and I got some milk. A small bottle of cow's milk. So we need to get these guys. We need to pet them every day until they like us more. So I'm going to inspect and just see. Uh, Amanda's feeling happy. Amanda's got one heart. Mona is happy. Mona is zero days old and has zero hearts. Amanda's three days old. So three days to grow up. That's not too bad, right? Why you guys? Seems as you're munching on all the fodder. You can come outside. And have a nice little romp in the field. The only reason that I would keep you inside would be if you munched all the grass in the field uh, too quickly. And then I'd maybe need to keep you in. But other than that, we're just going to get you out in your nice little pasture. Oh, look at them. <laughs> They're so cute. I love the cows in this game. They're really pretty nice cute ones okay so my next job should i choose to accept it well you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna sell the milk today because i a i need to sell milk and eggs and b i um want to know how much milk sells for so it's basically doing 20 eggs and 10 milk so the 10 milk will be done really fast it's gonna take me a bit longer mm, i don't know actually yeah Let's see if I can make myself a chicken coop. If I've got enough stuff for it. So I think it's fibre, wood and stone, isn't it? No, it's the carpenter, isn't it? Carpenter. Not the ranch. The ranch is where you buy the chickens. Well, let's head around the corner and check. 
The, ma the main thing with the chicken goop, I want to check how much money it costs. So I'm pretty sure I'll have the resources. But I don't know if I have the money. Edit farm buildings. Oh, I can move them! Upgrade to animal 8 capacity. Nice! 30 wooden, 2 bronze bars and 5,000. Okay, good to know that that's an option. Thank you. Right, so, carpenter, how much is a, a coop? A coop would be 2,000. Okay. Good to know. So we need to save up over the next couple of episodes to get a coop together. And then uh, I'll get as many chickens as I can in there. <laughs> I'll buy everything as babies. You look like something I've never had before. Mm. Suck attaching bugs in this game so much. I'm not too worried about it, to be honest, but uh, it might start scuppering me if I really need them for the museum eventually. Anyway, I'm going to head up to the mine. I'm going to have a fun adventure down there. Although I may need to go into the other shaft eventually and just get uh, go back and get more bronze, but at the moment I'm happy just trying to make my way down each, each one as much as I can. While I wait for... basically waiting for the money to come in to do upgrades and things. Oh, there's already silver down here. The thing is, as well, uh, if I even if I don't, oh nice, I've got doubles. Ah, brilliant! That's my way down. But sorry, what was I saying? Yeah, I could I could even sell the silver if I if I want to, and it might fetch a good price. You never know. I'll never run out of stone though, will I? <laughs> Good. Like a whole Lincoln area full of these slimes. Ah, no, 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 no. I got hurt. I'm also trying to hit a rock with an axe. More silver. I'll have to start like smelting this up as well and sell it or use it for things but yeah I should definitely sell a bronze bar and a silver bar maybe I should make another smelter so I can smelt silver and bronze at the same time or maybe that's like not needed quite now depends on how much mining I do really doesn't it I am being extremely unlucky there, yeah, with uh, being allowed down. Uh, we've still got a good amount of stamina though. Hey, I got a freebie <laughs> to make up for it. And like I say, with the mines, I am kind of slightly more interested in progress than I am in materials. Because I could get some silver, I could upgrade my house, that would be really nice. But I'll probably get it anyway. But, you know, you, you've only got a certain amount of stamina to try and find these entrances. So I don't want to spend it all doing combat that's unnecessary. Doesn't help when I miss, does it either? No, no, no. So this might be a bit grindy at the moment, but hopefully it'll be great once I uh, manage to get down to the bottom and I've opened like all the shafts up and I can get really cool stuff and I'm making like so much money and and uh, I upgraded my house and I've decorated it all beautifully and then there's nothing left to do in the game and we have to stop and find something else to play. <laughs> 
wait for an update where they wipe all my progress and I've got to start again. What I'm hoping is that they don't wipe the progress too much and that I'll be able to come back and like do all of the festivals and things in like the second year. Oh, I shouldn't have ignored you for that long, should I? No, no, no. Monster essence, lovely. I'm finding it a little bit hard to get all the way. Down. I don't know where am I getting that jamu from? Is that from I forget whether I'm getting that from under the sea or from here. I think it's from mining. Ah, oh, I'm having terrible luck. We are on level nine though, so as soon as I find this exit. We've basically done what we're here to do. Those are just decorative. Come on, give me the way down. Don't make me use consumables. Come on, rock domino. Oh my goodness me. Woot! Got a double ore there. I'm gonna have to do it though, aren't I? That was very good stuff. That was very potent, and I'm wondering whether that was a waste or... I feel like I'm going to need a silver pickaxe to properly get down here. And I also feel like at the moment... Just to have enough money for anything. <laughs> Ever. Need more money. Should have planted more crops, I guess. How am I being so unlucky? Gee. I didn't, like, miss it somewhere, did I? <laughs> Luckily, I've got plenty of time, plenty of stamina left. I think I may have accidentally drunk two of those. I don't know. Maybe I'll need two of them. <laughs> with my crops whether eating those will help as well in these places I'm um, just going to double check that I didn't accidentally already like oh look would that be my hoe? can I hoe those up? why do I feel like there should be a shovel or something? decorative I'm not sure but they looked like they were coins that I could maybe pick up so I was kind of excited oh my goodness me that took so long okay it was in the chest more explosives I'm not really using the explosives maybe I should Let's see how far we can get. <laughs> I'm not worried if I don't get further down. It's nearly midnight as well. So how about we just look around, see if there's any 
any goodies down here rather than trying to get all the way down. Um, no, not looking like many goodies right now, so. Lots of monsters. No goodies. Slime goop. Lovely. So, yeah, I'm gonna get probably. I probably need to get out of here, don't I, really? Because <laughs> it's like super late. I'm just like wandering around, like. La 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 la. <laughs> but there's like no silver or anything on this level. I've got lots of silver though as I was coming down, so it's fine. So now we are at level 10. Um, probably need to get again to level 40, I would imagine. So we've got a ways to go. It'll probably take us a few days to get all the way down there. I'm gonna exit the mines and head back to my farm and see if I can get myself to bed quickly. It is a little bit generous, I think, if you've got high stamina. It'll kind of let you get back if you're quick. All right, and I think that's going to be the end of the episode. I'll just let you see how many Scooby dollars I've got. So, oh, we're mining level five, which allows me to make a stone chest and a stone arch. Well, I wonder how much a stone chest holds. That's interesting. So I got 75 for my milk. Well, that's pretty good. If I've got four cows a day, that's going to be like uh, 300 a day just from small milks. And as they get bigger, I imagine they, they sell for more as well. Wonderful. So I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you yeah, did, then please do leave me a like below. If you'd like to see more, please subscribe. I'll let you know when the videos are out. I hope to see you next time. In the meantime, please look after yourselves and keep being awesome.